Mobile. Um, I play in a band called Tonight Alive, and um, here we're in Milwaukee, just finished playing on World Tour. And um, yeah, I'm here to show you my gear today. So Jake and I both run campers. Um, we got the profiles from uh, Paco Drives Tech, so I can't really tell you what the amps they are. It's stuff that they modeled it and kind of made, and it's awesome. I love it. So. I have, um, each song I have a page, uh, where, so I set it on my, on my, uh, profiler, so each song I have a page, and so this is, uh, clean, uh, rhythm, lead, and then I save two different delays on this, I have a dotted eighth delay on this, Oh, I've got an eight delay on this one, sorry, and then I have a, a delay that I use um, in the song on the edge, and I use the how's it feel as well. Up here I have um, the big sky, which I run run in the effects loop up here, and I say obviously save the settings, and then this one is just a quarter note delay, which I use for some of the songs as well. It's got a tuner on there that comes up there, and that's all that's all I use. So every song I have like. Some different gain settings for my rhythm stuff. Um, yeah, and I just go song by song, really. And a great thing is about these as well is that I have on my laptop. Uh, it's called like a profile manager, a rig manager or whatever, and I can like just change the setup in, in my app. Um, and it's easy as that. I can dial in all the delays and everything, so I don't have to tap. And it's pretty, it's great. So we fly these everywhere in the world. Um, so we have separate cases for these uh, when we fly, but when we come to North America, we have this bad boy that we put everything in, so this is me and Jake, all done. So we don't have to kind of lug around a lot of cases. Um, before switching to a Kemba, uh, Jake and I use orange heads, I used a Rockerbird 100, Jake used a Rockerbird 50, and uh, we still love those heads a lot, uh, but I guess the reason that we switched was because we're doing so so many international things and uh, and kind of hiring or, or getting orange amps from different places. You know, the, the sound was always different and the tubes would be different and I just wanted to have the same sound every time. Um, the same output for my sound guy, so these are what this is why these kind of work really well for us. Yeah, so studio, uh, we kind of use a lot of different stuff. Um, still use orange, still use Marshall, Soldano. Um, there was a couple of vintage amps that um, David Bennett used, and I have no idea what, what they're called. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just all stuff trying to get trying to get it right. Different guitars and just a combination of things that I've never used before. So, so with these as well, we run we run wirelesses, and I'll just show you the the back the back of these. So our foot switch comes out through here. Um, so this is uh, this is in case the wireless comes out. So this is just like plugging a lead, throwing a lead in, into your guitar. So it's just a fail safe in case the wireless for some reason goes out. But the wireless never goes out. So Sennheiser's the best. Um, we're very lucky to work with Sennheiser. So and they've hooked us up, obviously, as you can see. Um, and then we just have two XLRs that go out to front of house, and then our power. And yeah, simple as that. So I, I use this antenna out here it's normally on that and I can literally walk a hundred meters away and I still have I still have signal so can't beat it. <laughs> so as I said before I run I run this big sky through uh, my effects loop. It's kind of the only reverb I use um, David Bendis uh, who we did our last record with had one in the studio and I never heard anything like it. It's so ethereal um, kind of space and you know, like the, the settings are like called cloud and stuff, and it just kind of gives you this really great landscape, which I absolutely love. Um, so I use it on the record, so obviously I've got to use it now for live, but I use it for a lot of our old songs now as well. Um, it's by Strymon, and I've, yeah, I've never used a better pedal. So here we are, um, these are our guitars. We're very lucky to work with uh, ASP. Uh, they've been so great to us. If anything goes down, they send guitars out. Um, we were very lucky enough to, to get all these great guitars. So I play, um, well we both play Eclipses. Um, and then I have this LTD x which is probably my favorite guitar. Um, it just plays really, really well. Uh, the tone's awesome in it. 
and we use, we also use Dunlop strings. So we go in here, this is our goodies case. Bloody thing. So Jake and I both use um, 12 to 54s Dunlops. And these are the best strings that I've, I've found. We've gone through a lot of different strings and Dunlop, Dunlop has been great to us, looked after us. Um, so we use those. I change, I change strings probably every two shows, um, just to keep them really fresh. Uh, so, so these are our picks as well. Um, we work with a uh, brand called uh, Grover Holman um, in Australia and they make these picks for us. Lucky, so we've got a million of these going around. I think, yeah, I think I use one mil, or maybe it's 0.6. It's either one of one of those, but I kind of like heavier, heavier picks that aren't. I don't really like those bendy ones because I like to, I like to use like less gain, um, heavier picks, heavier strings to kind of get the tone, and that way, you know, if I want a like a lighter tone, it's it's easy, and if I want a heavier one, I can just kind of dig in more. Um, so I'd rather that than have a lot more gain and you know light and lighter, lighter picks, lighter strings. So that's why we kind of use the heaviest strings and then heavy um, heavy picks as well. Um, so as I said, we're lucky enough to work with PSP. So I, I have three guitars that I use um, live. The, this one is in drop C. This one's in drop D. This one's in drop C sharp. Um, so I only use this for one song. I use it for uh, listening. Because uh, the whole of what he's so scared of is in C sharp, the whole of the other side's in drop C, and then a lot of the newer songs are in drop D. Um, so yeah, as I said, this is a clips, and I've taken out um, these spots because I don't really need them, and I hate hitting this. I used to always hit it because I'm just, you know, flying. So we took it out because I only ever use this, and we changed these out. I think the stock standard ones, they come with EMG, so I just changed them to Seymour Duncan's, the JB's. Um, they're really awesome. They're perfect for what I need. And as I said, we have the heaviest strings. I think the lowest one is 54 to 12. And then, I forgot what these are called, but I'm pretty sure we changed the pegs out as well, but I don't know. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> After us, our guitar tech. And as I said, we have a pack. We have a Sennheiser pack on each one. Um, if I can get it out. So normally, so, so we just turn it on, and they're awesome. So it has my name on it, and you know, all that kind of stuff. But so I have one on each one, and how we how we change guitars is I turn off I turn off while our guitar tech turns on and kind of switch it out like that. I want to eventually get the the two two transmitters. So a lot of bands have two transmitters, and they have a switcher on here that just switches from each transmitter. We'll eventually get there, but you know, it just costs extra money. And for now, it's good enough to kind of to switch on and off. So this is my C, pretty much. I have the exact same setup on my C sharp guitar. I've taken all these out because I hate them. I just use this JB, same exact setup, except it's just in C sharp. Um, and then this is my. I kept these on, and because this is down there, I don't really <laughs> need to take it off from there. So this is my drop D guitar, same setup with the Sennheiser as well. And that's the same things with, with these Eclipses, we changed out these, so these are Seymour Duncans as well. I just like how the Seymour Duncans sound, they're just really crisp and they're not afraid of like a little bit of distortion. Um, I had to change, when I used to have like a Telecast, I changed my, changed those out to like a hot, hot rail and these are kind of similar but they're just a bit more clarity for me, which I really like. Um, now that the band stopped. <laughs> uh, so, I guess we'll just go on to um, basses. So we, we have, as I said, we have these Sennheisers for all of our guitars. But Cam uses um, Ernie Ball, he uses the Music Man. And this one, he has a five string. He only uses it for one song. Um, he uses that for human interaction. There's like a low note that he goes to. Couldn't tell you what that note is, because <laughs> I don't know. Um, so Jake is pretty much exactly the same setup as me. He has the eclipses as well, um, but obviously like a different color. I like white. He likes red, I guess. Um, and then this is his drop D guitar. It's, this is actually like a relic. I was playing these at the start, and then I kind of moved on to the eclipses. 
But obviously this is an Eclipse as well, but it's a Relic, it's kind of cut out, it's like a lot lighter. Um, so he uses this for the drop D, and he sweats a lot, so <laughs> you can see all that kind of starting to corrode, you better clean that soon. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it, we just try and keep it real simple. Um, we have a guitar boat in every uh, continent, I guess. We have one in Australia, we have one in uh, England, and we have one in America. So we don't have to fly with them. Um, same with drums, we have a drum kit uh, in here, we have a drum kit in the, uh, in, uh, the UK, and we have a drum kit in uh, Australia. So that way Matt doesn't have to rent and hire and get kind of stuff that he doesn't like. Um, and he flies his snare drum and he... Snare drum, kick pedal. And he has symbols everywhere as well. So many symbols that hurt my ears. Hey, thanks for watching Gear Masters. I'm for Kyle from Tonight Alive. Um, we have a new record out, Limitless, uh, that came out March 4th, so check that out. We also have uh, tonightaliveofficial.com where you can just check on everything and keep watching this space for new episodes. Thank you very much.